Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about Volkswagen's Helix subwoofer accessory and whether it's right for you. The Helix subwoofer accessory is more than just a subwoofer and an amplifier. It's a full sound system upgrade to the base system found in most Volkswagens. The system features a 5-channel Class AB amplifier with digital signal processing, a subwoofer enclosure which fits in the spare tire well, and a 20-wire harness that seamlessly ties into the factory wiring and extends the package to the trunk. In short, the 15-foot harness takes the factory stereo output to the back of the car where it's processed and then brings the signal back to the speaker harness where it continues to the speakers. The amplifier's output is advertised at 50 watts per channel for the door speakers and 160 watts for the subwoofer. The subwoofer box contains two 6-inch dual voice coil subwoofers. It's easy to balk at a pair of puny subwoofers that are barely larger than the door speakers. However, these speakers work surprisingly well since bass is their only task. The DSP is tuned to your specific model by your Volkswagen dealer. Some do-it-yourselfers report hearing distortion when the volume is turned above 50%. I heard it too, but it all went away as soon as I programmed the system. It's common knowledge among Volkswagen enthusiasts that Volkswagen's claim that the Helix is pre-programmed for the Golf and GTI is inaccurate. Nearly everyone who programmed their Golf or GTI saw some sort of improvement. The change wasn't dramatic in my case, however I noticed that as soon as I was programmed, I could turn the volume all the way to max with no distortion at all. I don't normally listen at such high volumes, but it's nice to know that I can. Get your Helix program no matter which car you have. The Helix system retails for $600 plus installation and programming. I got lucky and bought one of the older versions as it was being discontinued and liquidated from inventory. Those who choose to buy the part and install it themselves can rent a dongle in the Golf Mark 7 forums for around $30. That's a whole lot better than the $80 to $100 that a Volkswagen dealer will charge you for the same service. I'll share a link below. Is Helix right for you? Remember, this is an upgrade to the base system. It's not intended for use with Fender Premium Audio, which already has a subwoofer and an external amplifier. I mentioned earlier that Helix retails for $600, but many dealers are selling them for $480. Plus, it's easy to find factory rebates for even more savings. I'll share a link below. Installation quotes vary. I got one quote for over $300, a second dealer waffled around trying to make up their minds and just never really gave me a solid answer, and a third dealer refused to do the work at all. Well, they were glad to sell me a system for $660 at a time when Volkswagen was openly advertising for $300. That inspired me to install mine myself. The most solid quote I've seen was on Volkswagen of Naples website where they advertised the installed price at $689. So is it worth it? A true audiophile or even a proficient do-it-yourselfer can probably build a similar system for less money or a far better system for a whole lot more money. But I think $700 for a dealer installed accessory is a good deal for the average owner. If you're financing the car, then having the system installed as part of the initial purchase adds just $12 to the monthly car payment and costs just $30 in finance charges over the life of the loan. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, then you can buy the system for $480, use a 10% rebate to get $48 back, install the system, and then rent a dongle for $30. I think Helix is definitely worth that grand total of $462. Helix sounds far better than stock, and some say it's even better than Fender. I think it's more than enough for those who are attracted by this particular balance between cost, performance, and factory integration. There's no need to worry about giving up the spare tire. It turns out the subwoofer can fit on top of the spare tire by using a longer anchor bolt and removing the rubber feet from the subwoofer. Of course, if Helix isn't enough and you really love the booming bass, then it's not hard at all to expand it into something more powerful. Check out my next video to learn about my 500 watt subwoofer upgrade. Speaking of videos and upgrades, I think YouTube is a great place for sharing our journey so that we can all learn what works and what doesn't. I watch a lot of really great videos about Volkswagens and GTIs. Together, I think we can share our knowledge about upgrading or personalizing these fun cars in ways that suit us all. Please subscribe if you're interested in seeing what else I have coming, and thanks for watching.